Thank you. Facebook group. It's the day after um, bonfire night. Everything's nice and foggy, and uh, we're meeting up Padley Gorge for some late autumn Padley Gorge shots. So we have arrived at Padley Gorge. I'm not sure if any of the gang are here because I probably don't know anybody besides um, Ginger and Darren, but they're not here yet anyway. Um, I just hope I've got the right place. <laughs> um, it did say by the ice cream van, and this is where the ice cream van parks, so touch wood. But I'm early as well, which is normal. So I'm having a cup of tea and uh, we'll wait and see when they turn up. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We're out and about again. Uh, and I'm with Ginger Captures and his, his group um, from his Facebook group. And we met at Padley Gorge, but we've just come over the road to this other part, which I've never been to before, to be honest. Um, we have got some fog. We have got loads and loads of atmosphere. It's fantastic. Um, okay, so calm down with the excitement a little bit. Um, Come down to this bit here because we've got this super shaped tree that's sort of totally different to everything else. You bought? Oh, hello! Here he is! Here he is! Here he is! <laughs> and, uh, um, yeah, we've got this fantastically shaped tree, and what I'm trying to do is get it in between these two other trees. Um, it just sticks out like a sore thumb, but because of this fog it just makes it so much better oh it just isolates everything behind but gives it that atmosphere so I'm, I'm trying to sort of uh, compensate for that really and, and uh, try and get this image I think it's going to look nice I'm not sure whether I need to just move slightly right a bit so let's just try that just looking at it just to balance the photo yeah that's definitely better Definitely better. Um, now we've on a slight slope, but I'm just going to angle it. It is very, very symmetrical, really, for woodland scene. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's the first image in the bag, and it's nice. So I'm going to focus on that middle tree. F11, ISO 100. One sixth of a second. Bracketed shot. I'm bracketing the shot really because it's hard to get the comp the um, the exposure correct, and I'm just a little bit worried about blowing this the the top of the image out. But I'll probably crop it out anyway. But that mist is just wonderful, absolutely wonderful.
Okay, so we've moved over back over the road down into the gorge and we're starting to lose a little bit of the, the fog as it always seems to be, but I think it's only because we're in it. Um, and I've literally, the gate's just in, I've walked through and I've, I've spotted a nice, nice comp and it's, it's the pathway, the other side of the gorge, um, there's this clump of uh, bracken, is it bracken? Um, and it's brown and gold and it's hugging the bottom of this tree and there's a rock to the right hand side of it. And I just like the scene, I've just seen it walking down and I like the scene and I've captured it. Um, and I just like that contrasting colour and then as, as the pathway runs through it runs into the forest there or it actually runs down to the gorge um, and it just disappears and it looks beautiful so I've captured that got chatting for 20 minutes <laughs> and it's going to be like that today I think but I'm absolutely thoroughly enjoying it um, we've got all the guys here taking some images must be something good over there so I'm going to have to have a look in a minute so I'm going to go wander over um, but the colours over there do look phenomenal so I'm going to get over there and see if I can catch some. Okay, so I've walked ooh, a good five, ten yards, <laughs> and um, I can see why there was all over here taking some images. But I, I've, I've got this one in, in mind. We've got this, this tree. We've got that fog in the background, so I've got the long lens on. And we've got this tree, and it's got some lovely mossy boulders on the bottom of it. We've got the bracken in the background, which is lovely burnt. But the thing that draws me to it is this lovely shaped branch that comes off from left to right it's beautiful and it's contrasting with everything else but just it's just on the top of the branch it's catching some lovely eye light some lovely ambient light um, it's beautiful absolutely stunningly beautiful uh, another another image in the bag f11 iso 100 it's pretty much i suppose we could drop that f stop down a bit let's try it Let's go F8 because that tree is sort of square onto me. So we should get a nice, I've gone to F7.1, um, which is giving me a one fourth of a second exposure. I'm not gonna bracket it, I'm gonna take the bracket off. Two second timer. Beautiful. I'm just gonna check now that what I want in focus is in focus. Yeah, the stone's in focus, the tree's in focus. I'm happy at that. Another one in the bag. Oh, this is going to be a cracker of a day. <laughs> this scene in front of me. Oh, stunning. These gnarly old ancient oaks. Oh, that's beautiful. And I've managed to really separate them quite well. So we've got branches coming off left, then right. Uh, well, not branches, the trees coming off from left to right, left, right, left, right. All the way through the image. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. 
love it, absolutely love it. Um, I did try a bit wide to incorporate this first tree here, but I didn't like it, I didn't like it. Um, but what I do like in this image is we've got a, we have got a, a rock in the foreground just to anchor everything down. Um, and then it just, we just run all the way through. Your eye runs from left to right, left to right, all the way through the image. Beautiful. Let me get another shot. I think it might work in a, in a portrait as well. So I'm gonna try that. Just depends on how much sky we get in there. But I'm not, not too worried about the sky, but that, that mist is, Definitely, we've got atmosphere, but it's not as um, strong as it was first thing. What, it, what I might need to do is go really close and a lot wider angle, but we'll see, we'll see about that. But I do like that, I do like that. All I'm doing now is just checking the edges, see if I like where everything is close to the edge. That's quite nice, actually. Just focus on this foreground, third of the way in, image. Brilliant, and obviously I've got the polarizer on as well. But just making up the colours really, really pop. Oh. And another one. Okay. And then I'm just I'm gonna move around a little bit and see if we can get something else. Okay, <laughs> as you can see, I'm balanced on a rock. Um, the image is just, it's like a Japanese water garden with all these beautiful colours. There's every colour from yellow to green, browns. Oh, stunning. Why I've come to this bit is because we've got a nice little zigzag cascade here. It's took me a while to get down. God knows how I'm going to get back up. I'll have to get back up somehow. <laughs> um, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, yeah, uh, the difficulty I've got is it's so dark down here. I don't want too quicker exposure for the, for the water because it's running quite quick. So what I've done is I've, um, I've took one exposure for the water the main part of the water and that's a Thai SO 800 6.3 f6.3 and then I'm going to do a quicker exposure uh, sorry a longer exposure but I'm also going to focus on two areas one by the waterfall and one on this rock in the foreground um, because I can't get them both sharp and I can just just merge this rock in the foreground with the other image so that's what I'm doing so I've got them images. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm now gonna extend the exposure length by dropping the ISO right down again to ISO 100. Let's see what it's giving me. I've got the polarizer on, and I'm gonna go F11, which will give me an exposure time of 3.2 seconds. So we'll try that. Focus on the 
the cascade because that's where I want it to be focused on main, that's the main subject. Oh, I might just like it like that. I actually think it's better because as the, it streaks through these little bubbles straight through, it looks stunning, but it's the colours. The only problem I got with that is this branch is moving here. So again, these are the problems I've tried to face. I think what I might do is, is drop that. I did like that looking over sort of image, um, but we've got this branch here that's just clipping the top left hand corner. Now that's, that's moving um, in the breeze. So to capture that, I've got to drop it back up, the ISO back up and get a lot longer shutter speed. So let's go back to 800. We'll drop that down to f6.3. Now I can get a shutter speed of a sixth of a second. It's still dancing around. But let's try that. Let's see if it's sharp enough. It's better. It's better. I think I'm going to have to try and get rid of this, this, this bit here. One of the things that drew me to this, this part of the water was we've got this, this bush on the right hand side which is just brown. It's only a little bush and it, it's, oh, it's, the colours are beautiful. Okay, so let me just focus on them two areas there. Let's get that. I'm going to get the, the, the a sixth of a second, that's one shutter speed, and then I'm going to drop the ISO down again, back down to 100, F11, that's giving me a shutter speed of, it's now a five second, so let's try it, let's see how we go, I'm going to focus on the waterfall. I am changing it and taking a different, different shutter speeds and I'll choose the one I, I favour. I might even blend different areas of the water. Right, last photo of the day. Um, what I've tried to do is focus on this lovely little, well it's like a little sapling that's trying to grow out the, uh, the rock here. But it's the colours that I'm after. So I've used that as the foreground, put it on the bottom right hand third, and I'm rushing because it's starting to rain. And I haven't brought my coat. Um, so we've got that on the bottom third with the cascades. Tried to take it in a couple of different, um, shutter speeds and then again I'll pick the best uh, and that's as simple as that uh, so we'll capture that I'm on f8 ISO 250 a fifth of a second we'll just check that and see what the shutter speeds are So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to change it slightly. I'm going to go 
ISO 400, so I'll get a quicker shutter speed. And then I'll just pick which one I like the best. Um, and that's it. Been a great day out. Yeah. Um, we've been out with the Ginger Capture gang. Uh, absolutely, thoroughly enjoyed it. Met some fantastic people. And um, I'll definitely be doing it again. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.